guys, welcome back to my channel. I feel like it's been a while since I've sat down to film, even though I just filmed that plant haul, but like, it's different when I do the whole production of the lights and the, that's it. Just the lights. Also, as I sat down to film, the gardeners started up their BS, so I'm sorry if you can hear them. Most of the time you guys say they, that you can't hear them. I can hear them, and it's a lot, and I know not to film on Thursdays, but here we are on a Thursday and I'm filming. But I'm excited today. Today is an old school beauty Ulta haul. Well, I say Ulta, but it's a lot of different things. I have a couple random pieces. I have some PR stuff, but most of it I bought from Ulta and I went to Cosmoprof. We'll get into that in a minute. I'm sweating already, which means we're off to a great start. What's happening there? Mr. Toad made it in the video again, apparently, because I didn't take him down. <laughs> Which, one time I left him in a video and I like said like, whoops, forgot to take down Mr. Toad, and somebody commented like, thumbs up for Mr. Toad, and it made my life, and it made Bradley's life. I like screenshotted it. I would tell you who it was, but I plugged my phone in to do like the um, update. Apparently we're chatting today, so maybe grab some tea, some coffee, a snack, a meal. But yeah, let's just get into it with beauty stuff that I, I was gonna say I didn't need, but a lot of this are repurchases and I was out of and I did need. So, let's get started. First up, we'll do Ulta. I went to Ulta a couple of times just because I did, you know? And most stuff I got is drugstore stuff, which is exciting. With the exception, with the exception of, <laughs> sir! With the exception of one thing, I repurchased my Ariana Grande Cloud perfume. And so, oh, look how beautiful she is. Let's just, Look, let's admire the beautifulness of Ariana Grande, my queen. So I did, let me just talk as I'm making this loud noise. <laughs> so if you've been watching me for a while or since Christmas, you saw that I hauled, th hauled this, but I mentioned this in my what I got for Christmas video. I got this for Christmas. Um, Bradley's siblings kindly gifted it to me and I'm already out of it. I love this perfume so freaking much. It just smells like sophisticated cotton candy, vanilla, marshmallow, I don't even know. It smells incredible. And I got the same size. I was going to get the bigger size, but I find this bottle to be a little bit annoying to like hold and spritz. And you can pull this out of there, but when I'm in a rush and like perfume is pretty much the last thing I put on as I'm going out the door, like I don't have the time to like remove it, you know what I mean? And then take off the top. So I just went for the small size again. They have three different sizes, $40, $50, $60. And this is the smallest one. So the $40 one. And it's one fluid ounce if you are interested and the reason I like repurchase this again well number one because I'm completely out of my last one I used it fully up two days ago but they sent out one of those 20% off coupons for everything which included prestige I don't understand the honking 20% off of prestige fragrance, Benefit Brow Bar, like they only release those every so often and it's incredible. And I told myself, even before I was out of this, that the next time it pops up one of those coupons, I'm buying this because I love this and I don't wanna be without it. So I haven't gone through a perfume that fast in forever. It's probably because it was the smallest size, but still, I love it, I can't be without it. It's definitely been my most worn perfume since Christmas since I got it and I just am obsessed. And apparently there's a new Thank You Next perfume coming out. I think she said in like August or September. Sign me up. Okay, and then the rest of the Ulta stuff is drugstore, which is good because everything else I have next to me is not drugstore. Um, a couple of repurchases. I repurchased my L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Fresh Wear Foundation. You guys, I am obsessed with this foundation. I'm going out of town in about a couple weeks and I am just about out of this, which again, I haven't gone through a foundation that quick in so long and I needed it again. I wear the shade 410. The shade 405 also worked for me, but I preferred 410. It's just what I repurchased. It has SPF 25. I'm wearing it today. Um, it's just the best coverage. I just am obsessed with it. I don't really need to set it all that much. I do set under my eyes and wherever I put concealer. I love the finish of it. The coverage is amazing. I love the color match for me. It feels good. It doesn't smell weird or anything. It's just been my favorite foundation in a really, really long time. So Repicked this up because I did, definitely didn't want to go on vacation without it. This would be the only foundation I bring, probably. It's my 4th of July annual vacation at my parents' house in North Carolina on the lake. Um, so I don't wear a ton of makeup anyway, but, but I definitely do still wear makeup from time to time, like going out to dinner or just if I feel like it. So this would be the only foundation I'm bringing. And I will do a North Carolina day in my life vlog because when I asked for video requests, there was like a lot of specifically North Carolina 4th of July vlogs, which... I'm happy to do because that's always so fun. So 
Anyway, yeah, repurchased that. Why am I putting things over there? I never do that. And then I bought another foundation by Flower Beauty. This is the Light Illusion Luminous Makeup Nude Skin Feel All Day Wear Broad Spectrum SPF 18 Sunscreen Porcelain Foundation. That was a lot of words. I think that this packaging is gorgeous. I love the like rose gold accent there. And I bought this because I am loving, obsessed with my Flower Beauty Light Illusion Concealer. And then when I, th I think I saw Jessica Braun. Um, Jessica Braun is like pretty much the only makeup person I still watch anymore. I still watch pretty much who I've always been watching, but a lot of them aren't really talking about makeup anymore. Like occasionally they will. Like, Nikki Philippi, Rachel Talbot, they've kind of grown and evolved from makeup and I've kind of done that with them even though I still love makeup but Jessica Braun is the only person really that I'm watching. Oh and Tati, Glam Life Guru of course, the queen, who's like continuously all the time talking about makeup. So whenever my recommendations come from them, I, that's pretty much why. I don't watch a huge varied amount of people when it comes to beauty reviews because I've just kind of gotten into different things on YouTube. I love vlogs, gardening, oils videos, day in the life, those kinds of things. Went off on a tangent. <laughs> but Jessica Braun is always talking about this foundation and I, I don't think, think I knew it existed and once I saw that it existed I was like I need to try that because I love that found or that concealer so so much. So I'm excited to give this to try. Like I said, I haven't tried it yet. I'm in the color Porcelain L1 and I'm just pumped about it. So I will keep you updated. A couple more repurchases. Well, technically this is not a repurchase. This is the Morphe Highlight and Contour Sponge. I actually bought two sponges. I bought my normal Flawless Beauty Sponge and then I wanted to try this. So let me get it out of the packaging. Ow. Okay, I've injured myself. So this is what it looks like. Um, it's very just kind of flat on one end and then you do have the pointy side on the other end. This is the one that I always watch Jaclyn Hill use. And what I was kind of like interested in about it is the flat side, she just pushes foundation in and it just looks amazing and I want to try it. Same with like powder, that would be amazing to push powder in. The like cut off tip would be good for baking, sculpting out your contour. Love, love, love the Flawless Beauty Sponge as well. You guys know that. Um, it's completely replaced the Beauty Blender for me. I think it is just as great quality, but now I kind of prefer the shape of it to the Beauty Blender. So I was wanting to try more. I will link both of them down below. I don't have the Beauty Blender in here to show you because I ripped that open right away and just like used it. Why am I holding my hair? <laughs> but I was saving this one to haul before I actually tried it, so I can't wait to try it. One more quick repurchase from Ulta. It's the Essie Gel couture top coat. I freaking love this stuff. Whenever I'm doing an at-home manicure, which is not often because I hate doing them, I think that's a common misconception. Maybe not here, but especially on my Instagram. Anytime I post uh, a photo of my nails, people are like, please post your nail care tips. And I'm just like, I just go to a salon, y'all. I know it's like an oxymoron, but I hate doing my own nails because I suck at it and it doesn't look good. So I definitely prefer to get them done. Right now I'm wearing my boyfriend's scales walls, which is like the best. But anyway, <laughs> when I'm in dire need of a manicure and I like don't have time or I'm not in the mood to go drive to get it done, I will do them myself at home. And this is my ultimate favorite top coat no matter what polish I'm using. Yes, it probably works best with the Essie Gel Couture polishes, which look just like this, except it's the color of the nail polish. It's the twisty bottles, as I like to call them. But this is the best top coat ever. It has beat out sesh feet for me, which you guys know I used to use constantly. And I just love the brush. Can I like show you the brush without making a mess? Are we focused? It's got like a round tip. Oh, we are gliding, but can you see that at all? It's got like a round tip and same with like the gel couture polishes. It just makes it so easy for painting and I'm just obsessed. So picked up another one of these cause I'm almost out of my other one and I cannot live without it. And then last thing from Ulta is this Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder. I got the shade 05 Fair Claire. I have heard so many people rave about this, mostly Jessica Braun but also Jaclyn Hill, which we're gonna talk about Jaclyn Hill in a second. But Jessica Braun has been talking about this for months. Jaclyn Hill just recently picked it up and she like insta story that she would pay $50 for this powder because it's so good. Um, my sister was asking for a powder recommendation and I told her to get this even though I hadn't tried it yet, but I'd heard a lot of great things. She texted me saying it was amazing. So I am so excited to dip into this and try it. Right now I'm really, really loving the Marc Jacobs Coconut uh, setting powder. So I'm excited to try this and see if it compares, see if I I love it. I'm sure I will because the reviews are so great, but yeah, I'm excited to try that. So 
I'll keep you updated. I feel like I say that at the end of every product. I'm excited to try it. I'll keep you updated. Oh, I forgot one thing from Ulta, which how exciting that this is available at Ulta now. I got a highlighter from Ulta. If you didn't know, she's now, she at first was just selling her like lip kits and stuff in Ulta, but now just within the past week or so, she's selling the highlighters, the bronzers, and the blushes. You guys know I love the highlighter uh, highlights. So I picked up a new one. They've been repackaged and I think my favorite one is still available just in new packaging. I'm not even sure. I like the new packaging. I liked the old packaging, but this is really pretty and it feels just a little bit more sturdy. But I got the shade Queen Drip just because I'm dying to try more shades. This looks kind of similar to my cotton candy cream, just maybe a little more gold, but it looks really, really pretty and I'm excited to try it. And these don't always swatch the best, so don't lose hope if you get it and you swatch it and you're like, ugh, I hate that. It applies so much better with a brush. I am wearing my, um, Cotton Candy Dream highlighter today. I wear it every single day. I need to like get into more highlighters, but I love it so much that I just, when I'm like not in the mood to fuss around and I just know I wanna look the way I wanna look for the day, I grab for my Cotton Candy Cream and that's what I use. Oh, whoopsie. I wonder how long that's been tucked into my bra. So I'm excited to have another color to try out. Love the packaging. I will keep you update. <laughs> I said it again. <laughs> All right, now before we move on to PR, I still have my Cosmoprof, but we're gonna talk about this for a second. This is the Jaclyn Hill or Jaclyn Cosmetics So Rich Lipstick. Um, I'm sure you've heard the controversies. It's, ac it's actually quieted down. I was like obsessed with the drama because it was kind of nuts. And you guys know, I love Jaclyn Hill so much. She was like, I mean, she posts a lot less on YouTube, which is unfortunate, but like back in the day, she was my favorite YouTuber. And I just, I love her personality. I think she's really talented. She gets a lot of flack, but like I always really, really liked her. She released lipsticks and basically they were having a lot of problems. One of them being that people were finding literal hairs in their makeup or in their lipstick. I didn't have such dramatic results, which I got the color Control Freak, by the by. I've never put this on my lips because I'm afraid it's contaminated. This is the color. I'm dying to put it on my lips because it looks like it works so well, but there is what looks to be a fiber in there or a hair or whatever. But people are having so many problems with this. Just look up pictures of her lipsticks, like hair coming out of the lipsticks. There are um, scratchy, like you, start swatching it and it starts to become really scratchy. There are like hard balls, which she says it's not things melted properly, but other people are saying it's balls of plastic or balls of metal. People are having really bad lip reactions. I also understand it's all hearsay and it's one person's word against the other. She came out and said, you know, these lipsticks are totally safe. They were made within the last two weeks, but we made too many within the last two weeks and that's why everything isn't working as smoothly. The hairs were apparently fibers from the cotton gloves that the workers were using, but people are like, cotton gloves are totally not sterile to be using in a factory setting. You could get sweat through that and all that. So it is, I don't, you know, I'm really torn. I love Jaclyn, but just reading everything I've read, I don't think I feel like it's safe to put this on my mouth. You know, lipstick of all things is literally on your mouth. It's like going inside your mouth, swallowing it into your body. So I'm just overall freaked out by it, which I hate because I really, really, really wanted to try it. And the packaging is so pretty. It's like this silver bullet with a beautiful little gem on the top. It smells like a really light vanilla scent, but I just, I'm afraid. So let me know what you think. I, I know I posted like an Insta, poll on my Instagram, just asking like, are you gonna use yours, whatever. And I got a few people that were like, mine are totally fine. I've been using them, I love them, but I just don't know if I can do it. <laughs> Jaclyn Hill lipstick. I did buy it, so I wanted to show you that I bought it. I don't know what I'm gonna do about it. I feel like if I'm not gonna use it, I should ask for a refund, but I just feel so bad. <laughs> but I really probably am not gonna put this anywhere near my lips, so I don't know. I feel bad for her, man. Yeah, so I, okay. <laughs> I need to wipe the swatch off my hand immediately. Okay, while we're talking makeup, I'm gonna do the PR stuff because it's mostly stuff from Marc Jacobs, which I'm thrilled about. And most of the Cosmoprof stuff is from, is like hair stuff. So I think I'll finish up makeup first. So Marc Jacobs sent me a little package, which obviously is thrilling because it's Marc Jacobs. But speaking of Jessica Braun, she loves this Marc Jacobs Ac Accomplice Concealer and Touch-Up Stick. Um, and they sent me a few different shades. I have Light 20, Fair 16. Oh, two Fair 16s. Okay, hopefully that shade works out for me then. Um, but I'm hoping even so, one will be good for like under eye. The other one will be good for like spot treatments. I haven't even opened these. Like I don't even know what I'm dealing with. I wanted to do a true 
tall. I'm destroying the box. Like, that's not normal. <laughs> so this is what it looks like. It kind of looks like a lipstick. Oh my god, beautiful. Look at that. This one is in light 20. So let's just... Wow. That feels incredible. Yes. Okay, so this one will probably be good for like spot concealing on my face. It's concealer, so oh, I guess you can kind of see that, but it feels really good. Hardly has a scent, which I like. Um, okay, let's swatch the other one. Yeah, a little bit lighter. Ooh, I am excited about this. So yeah, that one's a little bit lighter, might be better for under eye. Cause I know Jessica Brown likes this for like the face and under eye, which is weird cause it's a stick, but I'm kind of really excited about it. So can't wait to try these out. I've been hearing so many good things from people, so. I'm gonna put that in the everyday makeup drawer to try out right away. And then along the same lines is the Marc Jacobs Accomplice Instant Blurring Beauty Powder with Brush. Oh, and this packaging is gorgeous. I love Marc Jacobs. You guys know that I love, well, first off, I love my, the bronze brush. I love my eyeshadow palettes. Oh, that's a brush. Oh, I'm shook by that. I was just thinking like, oh, there's no brush in here. Yes, there is, and it's magnetic. Okay, excuse me. I just got freaking fingerprints all over it, but the packaging is gorgeous as it is. But that little silver part is a brush. Are you as shook as me? Did you know this already? You probably did. <laughs> but oh my word, they sent me the shade 50 in Genu, Ingenue, oh, just like me on Broadway. <laughs> I am shook by this technology advanced packaging. Like, let me, let's look at it real close up, shall we? Here we go. Here's the packaging. There's the brush. Who knew? But regardless of the incredible packaging that I'm completely shook by. I'm gonna just touch up right here. I can't tell if anything is happening. So I'm gonna have to use this properly and let you know, but whoa, oh, see, whoops, whoopsie. I am just completely flabbergasted. Then they sent over a couple other things. Um, they sent over a, I guess, kind of smaller size of their undercover blurring coconut face primer, which you guys know I love. I kind of love this packaging of it though. It's just kind of like a little squeezy tube. You guys know I love this stuff so freaking much. So I'm so happy to have that again. And then they sent over the velvet eyelash primer, which I'm really excited about. I haven't tried an eyelash primer since like ninth grade and I remember it not working out the best, but I trust Marc Jacobs, so I will definitely be trying this. Love the packaging, like how gorgeous is that? Oh, and it's kind of like a, it's not even a white, it's just kind of like a nude color. So I'll definitely be trying that out. I know nothing about this, but I will let you know. And then last thing for Marc Jacobs, but also transferring into skincare, I think I'm most excited to try this. It's the Marc Jacobs Youth Quake Hydrofull Retexturizing Gel Cream. You guys know I'm really into skincare right now. This just looks beautiful. I love the name Youth Quake because I am three months out from turning 30 and I'm kind of really aware of that and I want to start doing what's necessary for my skin. It smells incredible. Let's have a feel, shall we? We shall. It kind of looks like vanilla pudding. Oh, am I spilling? Oh no, I'm not. <laughs> that smells so good, feels so good. It feels very moisturizing, but like light. So I'm so excited. I'm gonna put this in my beauty cabinet like immediately after filming this video, try it out tonight, and I love it. Let's see what it says. Deep hydration, powerful pineapple enzymes. The Kate Somerville exfoliate stuff has pineapple and papaya enzymes in it, and I love that stuff, so pretty pumped to try that. And then one last skincare thing. This is also from PR, technically Octaly sent this to me. It's from Fresh Beauty. This is their Sugar Strawberry Exfoliating Face Wash. I have used this a couple of times, and I am loving it so far. It smells like a strawberry, like, Jolly Rancher. It's not like a super abrasive scrub, but it definitely starts out as a good scrub. But, but what's cool about this is that it starts as a scrub, but the scrub is like sugar, so it melts away. And then you just have a really nice, like moisturizing face wash. So it's really cool. Looks kind of like jelly. Can you see that? Probably not. Mm, that's always so gross to do. <laughs> but I love the packaging with the strawberries all over it. It gently refines and softens. I already mentioned this in my, uh, or on my Insta stories during one of the Friday faves because I've been using it for the past couple of weeks and I've just really been enjoying it. Uh, Fresh has sent me a couple things, so I've been trying them out and I'll probably update you in this month's um, favorites video, so stay tuned for that. And also follow me on Instagram for Friday faves if you are interested in that as well. It's just at Amy Lynn Butchen. But yeah, just wanted to mention that since it's newish to my life. And then last but not least, I went to Cosmoprof, which if you don't know what Cosmoprof is, it's just, it. you have to have a cosmetology license to go there. It's like extremely discounted. 
it's incredible. My sister has her cosmetology license, so she takes me every now and then when I'm like, hey, can you take me? Because <laughs> a lot of my favorite hair care is available there and it's for cheaper, so that's what we did. But before we get into hair care, I did actually get a couple nail polishes. First off, I just needed a new OPI Alpine Snow. They had one left, so I was so excited. Uh, my old one, I mentioned it in an empties video already, and I'm just now getting around to picking up a new one, but my old one was just old and gross and kind of crusty and was chipping really easily. So I picked up a new one, my all-time favorite white. I was in the mood for white this week, but I got my nails in before I picked this up. So with that Spider-Man one, I always gotta have a white Alpine Snow on hand. And then this is from the Tokyo collection. I was really hoping the new Neon and Soft Shades collection would be there, but they didn't have it yet, which just whatever. I don't need nail polish anyway, but I am excited to have one new nail polish. This is the How Does Your Zen Garden Grow? This is from the Tokyo collection. It was really picked over as well, so I missed out on that one, which is fine. I have way too many nail polishes, but I thought this would be really nice for my nails and my toes for like a nice bright color in the summer, so picked that up. All right, and now we have hair care. A lot of these are repurchases, starting with, which apparently has new packaging. This is the Healthy Sexy Hair Tri Wheat Soy Leave-In Conditioner. This is my favorite detangling spray. I truly notice a difference when I don't have it. I haven't had it for the past couple weeks, so the last few hair washes have been awful. And I just love, it doesn't weigh down my hair. It's super moisturizing, but gets rid of the tangles, but isn't doesn't leave like a film on your hair. It's just my favorite. I will use this forever. And then I also, these are kind of the two things that I always pick up at Cosmoprof. I got the bigger size of this this time. This is the BioSilk Silk Therapy Original. I love this stuff so much, mainly, and I'm not gonna lie, for the scent. The scent is incredible. I think anybody would think the scent is incredible, but for me, the scent is also nostalgic because I just started using this when I was in the seventh grade. I forgot about it for a while and I like brought it back out. It, the smell of it makes me so happy. But aside from the smell, I just genuinely love the product. You guys know, ooh, and it's paraben free, amazing. You guys know that I love oil on my hair. So after I curl my hair, I will just put a little bit of this in my palms, rub it together, rub it everywhere because this piece of hair is driving me nuts today. Like whose idea was that? I will just put this everywhere because it's not so greasy that it makes my hair look greasy. It just tames my flyaways, my frizz, kind of holds the curl together, makes everything look nice and smooth, and I just love it. But I will also put this in wet hair just because I like it. So it's my favorite. I love it so much. It is a little bit pricey, but I think completely, totally worth it. And then just because it was on sale and I was curious, they had this BioSilk Silk Therapy Organic Coconut Oil Leave-In Treatment for hair and skin. Is this for hair and skin too? You can use this on skin. Oh my god. So this is, I guess, along the same lines. Dispense desired amount into palms and apply from mid-hair shaft to ends of dry or damp hair. And so this smells the same, but obviously with a little bit of a boost of coconut, which smells really good. So this was on sale, so I was like, you know what, let me just try it out. So yeah, I'm excited about my bio silk purchases in life. Oh, I got one more hair purchase for me, but first I will show you what Bradley likes to use in his hair. <laughs> way, way back, Matrix sent me a box of goodies and Bradley was obsessed with this shape switcher molding paste. They just recently changed the packaging, so I was a little confused, but this is it. I always pick up a couple of these for Bradley when I'm there because he loves them. And um, Bradley's really cheap about skincare, hair care, and all that, so I kind of have to force him to spend some money on things that he really genuinely likes. And what was nice at Cosmoprof, it was on sale for two for $12. So I was like, yes, Bradley, there you go. That's still less money than what one would cost at like Ulta. So I should have actually probably picked up more, <laughs> but it's okay. But I just wanted to share, this is what he uses. He loves it. Um, and he just kind of has like a little bit of like a, he kind of has like politician hair. Like it's very like swooped. If you've seen Bradley, you know it. Nice and out of his face. And this is what he prefers. And then last but not least, this is kind of repurchased, but not really. It's the Matrix Biolage Scalp Sink Anti-Dandruff Shampoo. You guys know I deal with dandruff and just a dry scalp in general. Um, I love the Matrix Clean Reset Shampoo and I was going to repurchase that, but I decided I would try this one instead. Oh, that like looks thicker than I was anticipating. It smells the exact same as the Clean Reset Shampoo, which I love the way that smells, so I'm excited about that. But yeah, I'm gonna give this a try and let you guys know. Oh my god, my nail already chipped. How freaking lame. But okay, guys, that is it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I have nothing else to say. I just sat here for a minute thinking, like, what should I say? If you want more hauls, I'll have the playlist up in the corner because I do a lot of hauls here on this channel. I'll have everything linked down below. You can find everything I talked about down there. And yeah, I hope you'll subscribe for more 
stuff, more lifestyle, beauty, gardening. I have some food videos coming. So yeah, just I love you. I'll see you very soon and I hope you have a great day. Bye!